Hey, Greg. I sold my business recently, and I'd like to transition some of that money into an income stream. What do you have for me? Well, we've got three different ideas that we regularly work with for what I call income now, folks. Uh, one of the safest that we work with is a thing called a structured settlement. Structured settlement? Never heard of it. Tell me about it. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me. They're a little obscure. Uh, it's certainly not something that uh, someone who works at a national brokerage outfit is going to know very much about. But they're one of the safest uh, ways to create a base layer of income. We deal with income, folks, and so we deal with some things that a lot of people don't know about. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever bought a new car? Of course. Yeah. So when you buy a new car, what's exciting about that is you get exactly the color, the, the interior, the options that you're looking for. But what we have to give on that transaction is value because we're going to pay within a few pennies regardless of what dealership we go to of full retail price. On the other hand, if you're willing to look at that same year, make, and model of a car that is used, well, you may not get exactly the color you were looking for, but you're going to get a much better value proposition. Even if it's only 10 or 12,000 miles old, you're getting basically the same car with a much better value proposition. Well, that makes sense. So how does that transition into these structured settlements you're talking about? Well, a structured settlement is basically a used annuity. We're buying somebody else's annuity. So instead of going into the marketplace uh, with a lump of money from your proceeds of your sale, uh, buying an annuity with 2 to 3% yields these days, what we're going to do is we're going to buy somebody else's annuity and we're going to get yields of about 550 instead. Okay. So you, you referred to them as annuities, but what exactly am I buying? Yeah, so these would be uh, the balance of payments from, say, a state lottery winner or more, more probably a lawsuit settlement. And they get a stream of payments out into the future, but they would like to sell the balance of those payments for a lump sum now. Wholesale buyers will go uh, along and, and buy that uh, stream of payments from them at a discount. Then they'll turn around through guys like myself and offer those to you. I get a small finder's fee for making the connection between you but you get all legal rights to those uh, payments once, they're, once it's approved. Okay, so what's the risk involved in something like that? John, uh, structured settlements are about as close to riskless as anything in my business can be. Uh, they're backed either by a state government lottery system or uh, by a large, well-known name brand insurance company. Uh, before structured settlements are approved by a judge, uh, the reserves actually have to be set aside in advance. Uh, so even though they're a little obscure, uh, they're regulated by all 50 states and you get all legal rights to these payments when, when you're done. It's a little bit like adoption. You're adopting this annuity and you have full legal rights once it's uh, concluded. I like the sound of riskless. Yeah, and uh, the other thing about it is there's no moving parts. Uh, there's nothing to review and update. Uh, there's no reallocation. We don't have to care about what the various markets are doing or the Fed is doing. This is this about as close to set it and forget it as you can get. So what do the payments look like? Well, that's where I earn my uh, money because the payments look like anything you can imagine. Uh, it's some lawsuit negotiation and so the stream of payments can be very, very uh, lumpy and unusual looking. My job is to try to puzzle together two to three of these for you so that they kind of overlap, play back and forth with each other and create a stream of payments that you can recognize. Okay, so that kind of makes sense, but how am I supposed to use this in my retirement strategy? So what we'll do is we'll create a base layer of income using these. So we'll take part of the proceeds, certainly not all, and go into the marketplace, get some of these structured settlements, and now we've got a base layer. Essentially, we're going to purchase a pension for you from these, uh, these streams of income. And then uh, with the other dollars that we have left over, we can use some of the other instruments that we'll talk about later to create uh, uh, augmentation to that. Well, it's apparent that you've done your research on this, and I'm looking forward to hearing more information about it.